Welcome back you guys, your boy CK. Today we're gonna look at NFL players and what their star rating was coming out of high school. We're gonna be on 247sports.com. I know there's a lot of different ranking systems, but this is the one I found most consistent. And their ultimate goal is to accurately project college success with an element of raw ability baked in. Now there's pretty much five different categories that a player can be placed in. You have the five stars, of course, the top 32 players in the country to mirror the 32 first round picks in the draft. They have the four stars, which is a tier right below that. These are the guys that are most likely to produce college careers that can get them drafted. Then you have three stars, a player with significant NFL upside who they expect to be an impact college football player, and then two stars. These are the guys they think have limited NFL potential, and then the no stars are the guys with no ratings, or they joined the league at a time where there was no star ratings and this system didn't exist someone like a tom brady he's gonna be leading the way for that Let's squad go. now i know a lot of you guys play mutt and sometimes you don't feel like grinding to get the best team so if you want to just buy some training or coins or players head on over to muttreserve.com use my code ck and not only will you be rich one day but you'll also get 15 percent off your order but before we get started i gotta let you guys know that we're doing a charity stream right now if you watch this video within the first few hours of it being live please come through link will be the first one in the description or the pinned comment we're raising money for the pediatric brain tumors foundation if even half of the people seeing this come through donate a dollar that could go a long way now brady's obviously not the only one that didn't have a star rating you have big ben Ryan Fitzpatrick, Carson Wentz, Austin Eckler, Antonio Gibson, Adam Thielen, Antonio Brown, Cooper Cup, John Brown, Dallas Goddard, Tunyon, Hurst, O-Line even has some really good players. Some of these guys were just a little older, you know, they passed the cutoff date. D-line is ridiculous. You have two X-Factors with Jordan, Levante, Dave, you have Shaquille Barrett. Secondary is not insane, but you know, this team is not bad. Do not sleep on them. You have the Maniac, Hassan Reddick. They might be able to get to the quarterback with ease. Now we're looking at the five-star team. We're gonna have them on the Arizona Cardinals because their quarterback, he goes by the name of Kyler Murray. Matt Stafford was a five-star. Trevor Lawrence, Justin Fields, Cam Newton, not surprising. Jameis Winston. Running back, we have Nick Chubb, Derrick Henry, Dalvin Cook, Joe Mixon, Booby, wide receiver Stephon Diggs, Julio Jones, Keenan. Calvin Ridley, Robert Woods, Jarvis Juice, Landry, Juju. It's not often you find a five-star tight end. So we only have two, OJ Howard and Mercedes Lewis. O-line, we have Tunsil, Andrew Whitworth, DJ Fluker, Landon Dickerson, and Lael Collins. Chris Jones, Garrett, and Bosa leading the way on the D-line with the likes of Chase Young, Brandon Graham, Jonathan Allen. The list goes on and on. You have Clowney. Secondary's insane with Ramsey, Humphrey, Fuller, Adoree, Pat Pete, Minka. Jamal Derwin is not even starting, bro. This team is disgusting. But if I had to say which team would be the favorite to win this whole thing, it might have to be the four star. Deshaun Watson leading the way with Derek Carr, Teddy B, Joe Burrow. Running back, CMC, Alvin Kamara, Saquon, Zeke, Melvin Gordon, James Robinson. Wide receiver, Nuke Hopkins, Tyreek, Amari Cooper, Odell, DK, Chris Godwin, Scary Terry, AJ Brown. At tight end, we have Mark Andrews, Hunter Henry, Gronk, Mike Gesicki. Defense has a ton of X Factors with Buckner, Fletcher Cox, Bosa, Daniil, the Honey Badger, Tredavious, Stephon Gilmore. This is probably the favorite to win the whole thing, let's be honest. Now, the three star team had the most players. They came out to a 96 overall. Mahomes leading the way with Russell Wilson, Aaron Rodgers. Yes, these guys were three stars coming out of high school. You had Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen, Dak. Just to name a few honorable mentions, Josh Jacobs, Aaron Jones, Chris Carson, Kareem. At wide receivers, you had the Michaels with Michael Thomas, Mike Evans, Allen Robinson, Lockett. You had two of the top three tight ends in Kittle and Darren Waller. Now this defense is why I think they could end up winning the whole thing as well. Well, you have Aaron Donald and Vaughn with TJ Watt, Ingram. Secondary has Jair, Harrison, Fuller, Big Play Slay, Byron, Justin Simmons. Just so many amazing players that were three stars coming out of high school. And then of course, we have the two stars the guys who weren't even expected to make it to the league offense is led by jimmy garoppolo with daniel jones and case keenum behind him raheem moster at running back Devonte was a two-star same with robbie anderson cole beasley galladay emmanuel sanders you had kelsey one of the best tight ends we've seen was a 
two star coming out of high school. Shows you these things cannot always be accurate. On defense, we have five X factors. JJ Watt being one of them. Khalil Mack, Bobby Wagner, Chandler Jones, Devin McCourty. This is inspirational, man. If you're still in high school, maybe you're not getting recruited, man. Don't let that stop you. Look at all these guys, two stars, no stars that made it to the league. You can do it too. So we begin with the two star team, the Niners. Taking on a five-star Arizona Cardinals. Five-star team has the football and the lead at the start of the fourth quarter. Kyler Murray going to take off. Oh, making a move in the open field, picking up the first down. He almost juked out Bobby Wagner, and he's going to take off again. This time, it's going to be a sack. J.J. Watt getting the sack, and now the two-star team has the ball. You can just see the drastic change of abilities, man. They have like three or four on this offense as compared to the five-stars who have like every player. But it is what it is. I'm rooting for the underdogs. But Jimmy G throws a pick. Here comes the no huddle. Jimmy G over the middle. Kelsey again. They need eight points. They need to start going to the sidelines, spiking the ball, doing whatever they can to slow this game down instead of taking a sec. And that's going to be the game. Miles Garrett, he was a five-star for a reason. Ends this ball game and the Cardinals are moving on. So you have the three-star Chiefs versus the no-star Tampa Bay Buccaneers right now the three stars are doing what they should be dominating we have reached the two minute warning the no star team needs to stop they sent the house Jesus Christ Kittle breaks the tackle and gets the first down that should all but do it now we're going to look at the five star Cardinals versus the four star 99 overall Houston Texans so we have the five star Cardinals with the lead and the football even though they're the lower overall Kyler Murray making plays gonna scramble how did he not fumble? I think that was Joey Bosa and Fred Warner. Those two guys hit you. Chances are you're going to cough up the football, man. This time he's going to get sacked. Joey Bosa with the big play, giving his team a chance. Oh, here it is. Watson to Hopkins, just like the old days. Cross midfield, last play before the two-minute warning. How did he not get sacked right there? Watson, okay, I jinxed him. This is it. Play of the game. Fourth and eight for the four-star team. Watson over the middle. Why? Oh, my God. Off the tip, how did he catch that? What the hell just happened? Unbelievable. The drive continues, and there's another insane catch. You can't make this up. <laughs> DeAndre Hopkins tying his bad boy up. Oh, wow. Dot to the bottom of the screen. Stephon Diggs gets them in field goal range. And there it is. The five-star team takes this one home, and they move on to the finals. So the three-star Chiefs have the lead versus the five-star Arizona Cardinals, but the Cardinals get a big stop on third down. That was huge. Two possession game in the fourth quarter. Time to see if Kyler can make some magic happen. He's gonna scramble, throw on a run. He's been doing that all video. Oh, that one's a little questionable. They get five yards, but would they have gotten more if he just kept the ball and scrambled? This time it's gonna be a sack. TJ Watt with his fourth of the game. Third and 16. Kyler on the run again. That's a dot over the middle to Keenan. They have to go for it. It's fourth down territory. There it is. Biggest play of the game. They get the first with Nick Chubb. Last play before the two-minute warning. Kyler, empty backfield. Going to have to scramble again. Throw it across his body. What a catch. Oh, cover two. I saw it the whole way. He saw it too. He goes up and gets it. Touchdown. Stephon Diggs. With another insane catch, it's a one possession game. If the three star team gets this first down, it's game over, it's gonna be a handoff. What a tackle, I don't know. I don't know if they got it. Shaq Thompson with the ginormous tackle. They need to do it again to have any chance. Another handoff, nice block shed. Miles Garrett with the play of the game, giving his team a chance. Can Kyler Murray do the unthinkable? With no timeouts, 38 seconds left. Can he get in field goal range? Oh, no, no, this is not how you want to start off the fumble. And the game's all but over. Aaron Donald was not too happy that he was only a three-star. Kyler going to try to get rid of a nice pass. But that's GG's. Our winners are the guys who are rated as three stars coming out of high school. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please destroy that thumbs up. Once again, if you're watching this within the first few hours of it being posted, come through the live stream. Come support a good cause. It would mean the world to me and all the kids around the world that could use your help. Thanks for watching as usual, and I'll see you guys on the next one.